先生们，我们的飞机将很快着陆，请再次确认您的安全带已经系好，手机保持飞行模式，谢谢。When was the last time you saw your family? A couple minutes ago? A few hours? Maybe it's been a few weeks or months. For Miao Miao, it had been over two years since she's had the chance to hug her parents. Due to visa issues, the last time she was back in her hometown, Guiling, was in June 2016, when we made our short film. After being granted permission to travel, we took the first flight out to go back home to see her family and travel the country. This is our trip. Our first destination was Shanghai. Immediately when we flew in, there was a typhoon warning that completely canceled our connecting flight to Guilin. We were forced to stay in the city for about a day, which really bummed us out a lot. So we went inside and got some hot tea to warm ourselves up. And after a few hours, the rain had finally stopped, and we went outside to get some fresh air. Since we were stuck in the city anyways, we decided to make a day out of it. Mama caught up a few friends that she hadn't seen in a couple years, and together, we set out to find some good food. We ate our way through some delicious pastries, some noodles, and xiaolongbao, which are soup dumplings. If you hadn't had that before, I highly recommend that you try that right away. After Shanghai, we went to Dali in the Yunnan province, where they have beautiful, cool, crisp weather out there and amazing scenery. We had a chance to explore the ancient part of the city that was built centuries ago, which is now an extremely popular tourist attraction. There's so much culture here, and lots of little corner shops for you to eat, hang out, and buy things. Eventually, we got lunch at a local brunch place that surprisingly served some of the most amazing pasta that we've ever had. Afterwards, we headed up to the famous Three Pagodas Buddhist Temple. We took a ride up the mountain to get a closer look at the temples, and let me tell you, the ride up there was just so beautiful. There were tons of trees surrounding us everywhere, and we passed by a few of the temples along the way. Here, Buddhists are able to burn incense at the temples, pray, and newcomers like us are able to learn more about Buddhism. It was a very, very cool experience to see the more religious and cultural side of the city. Early the next morning, we went out to explore more of the city of Dali, and already there were tons of people walking about, driving mopeds and their small trucks. Life doesn't seem to stop even in a small city like this one. We took a boat ride across the Arhai Lake, which is what the city was originally built around. We got a chance to walk around the small island on the lake, and here we were able to see what kind of activities the locals did.
afterwards, we left Dali and headed back to Guilin. On the way back, we stopped at the Dongnan Flower Market, which is the largest flower market in China. The flowers are all fresh cut and can be ordered and delivered all over the world. Each vendor prepares the bouquets in different styles and you're able to check them out and pick whichever one that you wanted. Our last stop was Guilin, a city of 5 million people in the hometown of all of Miao Miao's friends and family. A place that she pretty much knew like the back of her hand. We hung out with Miao Miao's friends most of the time and I got the chance to get to know them better and experience amazing street food. If you ever visit China, I'm telling you, do not skip out on this. All in all, this was an incredible trip and such a wonderful experience. I'm so grateful to have gone to all of these amazing places and I can't wait for my next trip back.